Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing one of my favourite little 5.1 packs, the ELAC Cinema 5. Now this little pack uh, is sort of the smaller variation of uh, a very well respected 5.1 pack also by ELAC, the uh, Cinema 10. Now, we've had the Cinema 10s for ages and they're really, really good, but this hits the most aggressive price point ELAC has as far as something that's quite a comprehensive, easy to listen to, really, really well thought out package of home theatre speakers. So, let's have a look. Now, like many of the products in this category, they're going for a full colour box. Um, it's not unusual for these to be sold in mass market stores and other things along those lines, uh, because they are so aggressively priced. Uh, most manufacturers kind of have to hit uh, price and quality points um, to ensure that revenues and of course R&D is eventually paid for. And so they present their packaging uh, with eye-catching uh, photos and they've done a good job in that respect. On this box though they have a couple of photographs of potential setups and all the things that you will expect to see inside. Obviously some excellent photos, you name it. And of course on one side some wire, uh, sorry, serial number and other things along those lines. Now it's not unusual for this to be opened in New Zealand and uh, by the distributor and then a New Zealand power cord added. So that's what I suspect has happened. But this is exactly as you will see it when you unbox it in your home. So, let's have a look. Firstly, as we open up, the basic information is at the top there in the form of a manual. This is uh, multilingual. It's not a complicated thing to set up. Uh, the multiple pages are really because it uh, caters for a wide audience as far as languages. Then there's a whole bunch of polystyrene. Um, they need to protect this product uh, and you will see that they've got cutouts for all the speakers that we're about to see. Get rid of that. I'll tip this forward. Now what's quite unusual and one of the first things I'm going to grab out of here is that this product comes with all sorts of accessories that most don't, including wall brackets. You can hear though, the quality is excellent. Um, the nuts, bolts, screws, all of those things are included. So many of these products from lesser brands uh, are very awkward to try and get the most out of if you're ever going to wall mount them. It's great that ELEC have provided those things for you to ensure that uh, it's set up and other things is superb. Okay. Now, the next section is relatively straightforward as it's just sort of a polystyrene cover over the subwoofer. So I'm going to carefully lift that out, stand up for a moment, carefully lift that out, put it off here. And I'll show you for a moment the rest of it. Now, there's that um, New Zealand power cord I mentioned. And then the subwoofer. Now before I get rid of it, I'll sort of show you the bottom. Okay, well packaged. And off the box goes. So, casting that to one side for a moment, we're going to concentrate on the speakers. Now, like most 5.1 packages that have thought about things, the centre speaker is a little bit larger, with the fronts and rears as small as they can be. Unboxing these to have a look, it's as simple as slipping the plastic bag off, and the first thing you will notice is just how well built they are. They have a great feeling, they're solid and they're nuggety, and you can see the self-tap screws, all sorts of things ready to go, including some very, very good binding posts. So there's one of them. The second again, very, very easily, the model number, all of those things. Hang around for some photographs, I'll try and get an angle that'll show the light through there. So the, the fronts, the rears, all of those things easily catered for. Now it's worth noting, look, in the accessories was an original um, overseas power cord. We're not going to use that, so get rid of it. And then last of all, before we get rid of the polystyrene, is of course the centre speaker. Now for anybody that's been uh, listening to home theatre in their home, they realise how important the centre speaker is. So it's good that although these are relatively small, they've added an additional driver to ensure that the centre speaker provides the accuracy of voice and other things like that. And it's very good to see that this is well thought out. 
The rear of the centre speaker again has the same binding post which is a spring clip with a reasonable gauge and a couple of pre-tap screws for wall mounting if required. The brackets, as I mentioned earlier, there's five of them. They can be mounted in any orientation and with the screws which tap in it clips very easily. So that's a process of screwing that to the wall, putting in the tap screws in the back and then clipping it in place. The outcome is actually picture perfect. Um, so many times you see advertising material associated with some of these products um, making them look like you could never install them in that way. Well, you can. It's really easy. It's great to see. Okay. Now, looking at the subwoofer, and let's be honest, with small speakers, it's the subwoofer that is probably the make or break of the system. A weak subwoofer, or one that's not going to work well in a large space, leaves these speakers sounding thin. And it's excellent to see that that's where ELAC has really focused their attention. The subwoofer has a great punch and control with it, despite its relatively small size. So as I roll that forward, get rid of the last of the plastic bag, and the foam paper that covers it. So there we have the little sub, and I'll have a close look again, hang around for some pictures. I'm going to take some of the sub, the driver and other things along those lines. So this is a basic uh, MDF with a melamine cover. Uh, it's designed to be relatively discreet and not sort of scream out if it happens to be at the front of the room. It's got a good front firing port, the ELAC logo, and then below it the status light for power on off and other things like that. Rolling it backwards for a moment, I just want to show you some excellent rubberized feet. Uh, this enables the product to anchor nicely on the floor and even on tiled floors and other things where this might chatter or rattle, it's not going to do so. It's got a nice little 8 inch driver right there. Um, great little subwoofer power supply and other things on board ensuring that the uh, driver is kept under control at all times. It's almost a complete cube, so you'll see its height uh, depth and other things are uh, uh, proportional to the, from a, 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 a perspective of its size. Looking at the back, again it's very rudimentary. This is a simple, very aggressively priced product. So it doesn't have a wonderful feature set, but it doesn't need to at this price. The AV receiver is going to do the setup for it, and so this one just needs to focus on doing its job, which is to produce the low frequencies that the fronts don't have. So looking at it, IEC power cord. Very straightforward. Plug it in, turn it on. Um, above that we've got line level input. Now it's interesting that they've chosen to have a set, enabling you to use it as a stereo or LFE input only if required. Directly above that is the power switch. Now um, this is the um, automatic standby sort of thing. So it's on, auto which will turn on when it gets a signal and off when that signal has, has not been detected for a reasonable period of time. And then, of course, standby or off. Above that is a phase switch, and it's very common, as you would see, to have an in and out of phase switch, enabling you to set this up appropriately for your space. Above that is the low pass. Now, a subwoofer is always going to try and produce the lowest frequency it can. This low pass is designed to uh, deliver a, a tuning to uh, allow you to set the highest frequency that you want it to. Room acoustics and obviously the drive capabilities of the speakers are the most obvious to try and get right with this knob. Above it, nice and simple, it's a volume control. How loud do you want this to go? How much do you want to annoy the neighbours perhaps? Or how much do you want to rattle your couch during those big scenes? That's where the volume control sits. Nowadays probably the AV receiver will give you the ability to attenuate the bases required, but it's nice to know that right at the top, reach over and you can adjust the volume quickly, particularly if there are others that may be offended in the house with that low frequency rumble through the walls. So, nice and easy. Elac's brand new Cinema 5, sort of entry level 5.1 home theatre package of speakers, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.